been teaching for seven years and I've loved organizing my whole life. Today, I would like to share with you some tips or how I organize my preschool classroom. Organization has plenty of benefits from reducing stress to keeping you on task and paving the way to children's developmental success. As teachers, we are responsible for the setup of the classroom, creating a positive learning environment and managing the class effectively. This starts with managing the physical space. When you think about the layout of your classroom, you must think of how you and your students will use this space throughout the day. So designing a map of the classroom may help you to create a convenient layout. Your classroom should include different interest areas or centers, such as a reading area, an art area, a dramatic play area, and much more. Each area should have labeled materials that are accessible to your students. For example, blocks and books should never be up high where children cannot reach them. And charts and pictures shouldn't be higher than children's eye level or they won't be able to see them, right? Labeling materials will help students with their literacy skills, organizational skills, and also their mathematical skills. When it is cleanup time, students are not just putting the toys or the materials away. They are classifying, sorting, working in groups, making decisions, and following rules, which gives the students the opportunity to learn efficiency, respect for their materials, and give them a sense of accomplishment. It supports the learning process, sets classroom expectations, and minimizes behavioral problems. To maximize the use of space, you can include storage bins, cubbies, bookshelves, baskets, boxes, crates, containers, and jars. Having illustrated routine charts, to-do lists, calendars, clipboards, notepads, journals, sticky notes, envelopes, binders, and folders will help with the organization of the classroom. Also, planning your lessons in advance helps you to prepare what materials you and the children will need to access. As a teacher, your organized environment can reduce fatigue, improve relationships with students and parents, increase job satisfaction, joy, and growth. Having less clutter helps to live a happier, less stressful, and healthier life. I hope this organization tips will help you create a healthy environment for you and your students. I believe in organized classrooms. I invite you to believe as well.